Welcome back to the Dry Fire Journal, Red Hawk family. This is day 66 and I am on the road from San Diego to my home in Yakima. And this is rural Nevada and it's beautiful out here. Um, hey, by the way, if you haven't gone to blocksafety.com, B-L-O-K safety.com and gotten your barrel block for your dry fire practice, fix yourself and use the code REDHAWK at checkout and get 15% off your entire order. Such a great deal. Please do this. Today, I don't have a firearm to demonstrate with because I'm literally on the side of a highway in Nevada. But I want to talk about the concept of bounce to coast. I've covered this in a number of videos, but today I want to talk about the relationship between the two. And go back and watch those videos so that you, you, you have some context to the words bounce to coast. And if you've taken concealed carry from me or the test, you understand these words very well. But here's the relationship between the two that maybe you haven't thought of enough. First, if we're going to bounce out of the holster, then we must, like capital M, capital U, capital S, capital T, we must coast to our target. Because if we bounce two and we just drive the gun out to the target, we won't see anything. And we'll wind up taking a shot that is morally, ethically, legally, emotionally, spiritually, just destructive. So if we're gonna bounce out of the holster, we can't stab, we've gotta bounce and coast so that we see what we need to see to hit whatever it is we wanna hit. So, have you made your coast predictable? Have you made your coast so predictable and so habituated into your presentation of the target that you can trust it? That you know it's gonna be there? That it feels as natural to you? I want your coast to feel as natural to you as looking for your sight or moving from index to trigger needs to be such a solid part of that foundation. So have you habituated that coast? And here's the relationship between the two. If I bounce out of the holster, it is my coast that is going to give me time to make any corrections that I need to make. So my coast enables my bounce. Also, my bounce, the faster I bounce, the more I can coast. So, are you coasting so predictably that you can now practice your bounce at the very limit of your human performance? Because again, the more you coast, the more permission and freedom you have to experiment with bouncing as fast as you can, as fast as you can, because you understand that your coast is going to be there. Give this some thought, give this some work, and ask yourself three questions. Number one, what did I just experience as I did this? Number two, what am I experimenting with? What, what, what am I experimenting with on this draw to first shot? What am I experimenting with my next one? Make these reps count. And then number three, what am I doing well that I can build on? Because that's where the growth happens. Let me know how this goes for you. Give it some thought and some work, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.